Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. I got a lovely request on Instagram from Lee. He said, you've got to try this new pizza that's out. So you know what? I have got to try it. So come and have a look what I've got. So look at this, Carlos, um, takeaway um, Donna kebab pizza. I'm new, so I had to buy it, didn't I? Um, with a cheese stuffed crust. Oh, look at that. Uh, made with raw dough. <laughs> Cooking 23 minutes. A little traffic light system there, look. Um, so yeah, so this was £1.99 pence. So it's a, it's a bit more expensive than the old 79 pence um, the deep pan pizzas. But it's new and I have to try it. It's a Donna kebab. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the box. So we've got some nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. For half a pizza, there's 624 calories. Um, so we've got a little sticker there. May, um, produced using EU beef. With a CZ, I don't know what that means. 529 grams. Um, so it says there, um, a pizza base with a cream cheese, mozzarella and Emmental stuffed crust. Topped with tomato sauce, kebab style beef. <laughs> I thought kebab was lamb. Uh, grated mozzarella, red onion, tomato and a sweet chilli sauce drizzle. Um, so there are the ingredients if you want to pause that and have a look at them. There's a few allergens in there, isn't there? We've got wheat, milk, um, milk, barley. So let's have a look, see what it says. Cheese, milk, 11%, tomato sauce, 11%. Um, kebab style beef, 8%. <laughs> I know it's got oregano on it. Um, beef water glucose syrup. I'm not going to go through all the ingredients. I'm just seeing if there, there's going to be some nasty ones in there, isn't there? Look at them all at the bottom there, look. Oh, look at all them. Oh, 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 oh. oh, a little bit of spiel there about the range. If you want to read that and pause that, by all means, go ahead. So let's get this open and see what we've got on this lovely sunny day today. Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> oh, let's get it open. Let's get it open and give you a, a little bit, a better view of it. There it is. Let me get a bit of a light for you. This natural light shining through the window here on it. Look at that. All that stuff pumped on it looks like it's been pumped on, doesn't it? All this stuff here. There's a, there's the kebab meat, you know. I mean, it, to me, it's got to be lamb, hasn't it? It's, it's a lamb. It's kebab. Donna kebab's a lamb. I know you get chicken kebabs and you, well, you get all sorts, can't you? Kebab is just the, the sort of the term, isn't it? But, you know, I was just thinking it might be a lamb. But there we go. Um. A lot of the a lot of this stuff as well is that mechanically formed chicken, isn't there? I've noticed there's none in here, but I've noticed there is um, a palm oil in. Look at the bottom. So this it's just they're just horrendous, aren't they? Let's be honest. Um, these sort of things that you do you don't eat these every day, dear. Let's be honest. Let's have a look at the ways to cook. Uh, all appliances vary, so it's um, fan one eighty nineteen twenty three minutes electric two hundred nineteen twenty three minutes gas six. 19, 23 minutes. So I reckon it's 19 or 23 minutes. <laughs> so I wonder if I'll go with the air fryer. Let's try and let's have a look, see if it'll fit. Get it in here. So it, it won't fit in, well, it will fit in the air fryer, but it's not going in the air fryer because I did read the instructions. It's got to go on a preheated tray. And this was a gift sent to me. Fantastic gift, look at that. So I'm going to use it. What a, what a great time to use that. Thank you very much for the gift. I think it was Mike who sent me the gift of the um, the pizza tray. In fact, I'm doing it all wrong. I need to preheat that tray. 
So what I'll do, I'll get this in the oven now, and I'll bring you back when it's cooked or when it's warmed through or whatever it's done. <laughs> So I, um, it's had 10 minutes and I've turned it round. I'll just turn this machine off because it'll make a noise. It's making a noise now anyway, so. <laughs> so yeah, you have to preheat the um, oven tray, put it on that, put it in. I'm doing it for 20 minutes and at a halfway through, you have to turn it round. Um, so it probably bakes even in the oven. So I uh, took my kids to school um, and I was told never to wear my hat again <laughs> they were embarrassed they, were this, they said uh, you're, you're cheesy with that on dad please take your hat off I was walking them up through school and they, <laughs> they didn't like it at all I had to take my hat off but I've got it on now because it is spot on and I've got this top on as well look at that a lovely gift sent to me so thank you guys and your lovely team who you work at there I appreciate it. What well, absolutely fantastic gifts. Uh, good ladies, um, she's just tucking into some scrambled egg on toast now, so she's up and about and she's uh, she's getting there. Um, so yeah, we're all getting there. I'm going to go live this Friday at 8 o'clock. That is the plan. So I'm going to get some drinks in. I'm going to try this lovely um, bottle of Jack Daniels that I got sent to me from John. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a few of these. Tell you what it's like. Um, and we're going to have a good time 8 o'clock on uh, Friday night I'd like to thank all the new foodies who've joined the channel so if you've not got anything better to do just stick the old telly on or the tablet or the laptop or whatever you watch it with and uh, watch this um, idiot <laughs> getting drunk just having a good time we'll, we'll see how it goes might get the quiz on as well and uh, see how that goes look at this gift as well look at that lovely gift sent a cracker there, isn't I've been so lucky lately, you've been so kind, lovely people out there. I've had so many gifts sent to me. It's, it's been amazing. It, it has honestly been amazing. It really has. I've got a few plans in the future to do a bit of a, a, bit, a bit of a road trip. I wanna I wanna basically drive. Well, I've got a few plans anyway in the future. I'm gonna do some road trips down south and up Scotland as well, up north. Because I'm like I'm about 90 miles from the Scottish border, so I'm going to go up Scotland and I'm going to go down south as well, and that is the plan. Only for, you know, three or four days at a time, but uh, yeah, I'll stop off at a few spots and um, a few of your local sort of places where you like to, to eat. Maybe do a few videos as well. <laughs> and with any luck, if you're around and about, could always meet up in a pub and have a few pints. That'd be great, wouldn't it? So anyway, I'll, um, I'll bring you back when this is done. So it's out, there it is, look. Let's have a look at this. And get a bit of better light for you. So I did it for 20, what, 22 minutes. I um, turned it round halfway through. So if, if this is your kind of a video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the video, that is. <laughs> And if you've not subscribed, well, go ahead and subscribe. Push the boat out. I got a lot of comments saying, oh, I missed you, I missed your video, or I missed you at the weekend, I didn't see you. Um, that's, well, I didn't put anything over the weekend for obvious reasons, but uh, I always say, if you know, if you're subscribed, you'll, you'll see my posts as well, particularly the ones that I put in the community as well, because, um, a lot of people were saying, oh, I didn't see your post, I missed it. Well, you know, if you subscribe, then that's that's the reason I say it, is because you get to see all my posts. <laughs> so let's let's get this chopped up and let's get into it, because I'm getting a bit, bit hungry. Oh, I can't wait for this. Can't wait at all. Oh, it smells good as well. I'm hoping it's going to taste like a... I'll tell you what it's missing though. A little garlic mayonnaise is missing on this. Might have to make some and slap it on. But we'll try it first. Um, as it is, you know. You have to, don't you? So there's the cheese in there. Look at that. All that cheese. Mm. <laughs> I do like a bit of gooey cheese. 
So I'm going to get into this. So I was uh, I was having a little walk out the other day, as you do, trying to t trying to sort of lose a bit of weight. <laughs> and uh, a car pulled up alongside me, a BMW, and I thought, oh, who's this? <laughs> Especially when it turned on the other side of the road and pulled right up beside me. I thought, oh, what's going on here? Who am I upset? <laughs> and a bloke white put his window down and he said, oh, he said, I messaged you a few months ago. Do you remember uh, Ken? I mentioned he was in hospital and he was poorly and he always watches my videos. Well, he's out of hospital. He's still poorly, but he's out of hospital. And he said, I'd just let, like to let you know the update on him. So all the best, Ken, if you're out and up and about, I hope that you're uh, feeling spot on. I really do. Um, so that's good news, isn't it? Good news. So let's, um, so let's get into this. Here we are, look, I've got a bit with a bit of beef on there, look. Ooh, my cheese is oozing out the bottom, look. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, that tasty. Um, there's a bit of the old, um, down the meat, the beef. Very mild flavours in the beef. It's not giving you that um well it's very, very mildly giving you sort of you know the the, t the donut kebab sort of taste. But it's proper lamb in it, it's proper fatty and greasy and, and really tasty. This is it's mild. The flavour of the the meat is very, very tame and it's quite sweet as well. Mmm. Let's try some more to form a, an opinion. I was expecting more of, of that flavour of, of, the, of, the, of the chili. The chili is very mild. I mean, they're not going to. They're not going to put a load of like hot chilli sauce on there like you do, but to be fair, I mean, it's got a cake for everyone, hasn't it, this sort of even. Um, it, it's pretty sweet. It's, I just wish it was more Donna Kebab sort of flavoured. The base is nice and soft. Um. It's all right, it's all right. But if, if you're looking for, for that Donna kebab sort of, you know, them big flavors, then forget it. It's not, not, not on here, it's not on this. So I bought this in Aldi as well. So basically I'm gonna pair it with that because this is really good stuff. It's tasty, my brother put me onto this stuff. And it's, it's, um, it's a bit like the, the sauce you get from the old, um, your old Turkish restaurant look. It is, it is chilli sauce. It's the chilli sauce that you want that f sort of flavour, don't you? But to be honest, you want more meat flavour. Mmm. <laughs> Not better. You're always chopping it garlic clove up with a load of mayonnaise and smash that over the top of it as well and get that chilli sauce on it and then you're actually getting somewhere near for a doner kebab sort of pizza you know if that had been lamb um, and in the spices that, that they use it would have been a bit better but to be honest it's, it's a nice pizza would I buy it again um, I probably wouldn't buy it again because I've tried it now um, it's not something I'd go, oh, I'm going to buy that again, you know, it's tasty. It, it's all right. It's probably about it's probably about a seven and a half out of ten, I'd go, seven and a half. So thanks very much for watching. Thanks, Lee, for the recommendation. Um, thank, uh, go live Friday night, eight o'clock. Hope you can join us. Hope you can tune in. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.